Million homes, knocking down doors, taking women, children, families hostage, not only in their own homes, uh, actually uh, taking them over the border, kidnapping them, not to mention raping women, parading them naked in the streets, complete and utter barbarism. This is something that Israel has never seen before. And I must tell you that um, the hearts and the minds of all Israelis, don't forget that all Israelis send their children to obligatory army service. Uh, this is a this is very, very difficult time for every single Israeli citizen hostage, many of their own people, too. In fact, this is a very uh, undemocratic, cruel, barbaric regime that holds 2.2 million Palestinians basically hostage, despite a lot of funding brought from the international arena. In fact, the current coalition also was planning after the holidays to open up and give per permits to work in Israel two Palestinians in the West Bank, some from Gaza as well. In fact, Qatar is feeding this monster constantly with funding, with money. But the most important thing, and this is something that the government, the current government, but other governments, previous governments in Israel, have said again and again, the one mastermind behind this whole entire thing is Iran. It has slowly but surely, and this is very important to understand, systematically funded and trained Hezbollah in the north, Hamas in the north as well, Hamas in the south in Gaza. It infiltrates Jordan. Very few people speak about it. Jordan is a very important enclave for stability for the United States and the world, not just for Israel. It is also very, very active in the West Bank. It is arming, funding, training the um, uh, uh, terrorism in the West Bank, not only the Hamas, but also the Islamic Jihad. But it is also trying to reach out to Arab Israeli citizens within Israel. 